Hey guys, very good morning from Dhaka, Bangladesh. Welcome back to the channel. One more review today. So today's fragrance house is gonna be a niche house. This is my second review from this house. It's called Otto Parisi. The house is uh, first. My very first review was uh, this one. I had a small sample. It's called Bergamosk, and the Bergamosk was gifted to me by brother Nabil. Nabil and Rahman bhai, thanks a lot. Once again, brother, very strong, pungent, uh, simple yet very beast mode kind of perfume for summer. So I did review that and today we're going to be looking at this one, Mega Mare, okay? The latest release in 2019. So first of all, very, very big thanks goes to my dear brother Anis Saman bhai. He is a wonderful soul. He gifted, uh, not gifted, he lent me uh, four of his fragrances. I have done three of them already. This is my last and final one. Uh, last and final one, fourth and final one, sorry. <laughs> so uh, let's see how this one goes. I'm very excited to review this because I've been testing for some time. And this is uh, kind of like many people have mixed reactions. And funny enough, there's no notes breakdown on this one on Fragrantica. So I don't know why that is. So I'll, like, I'll, I'll try my best to describe the scent to you from my perspective, what my nose gets. And remember, it's just one review. Definitely sniff it out and uh, you might find other things, discover other new things in that fragrance, okay? So, do not have the box because he uh, d did not have the box with him that day, but it was brand new and he gift give it, gave it to me like, brother, you take it and study and you review it. So, that's the love that we have in community. So, let's see. I will give you example from some designer fragrances, just that bit of each element from each fragrance, just to give you some idea. And the fragrance I have on my hand for about one and a half hour already dry down is there but you can see the hand is still a little bit shiny from the spray it, it is not picking up but it is here so this fragrance is really beast mode fragrance for a fresh perfume so first of all ortho i mean i think it's an italian house and i find them very similar to sort of nasemato fragrances even though they are more stingier and <laughs> they give 30 ml this house gives you 50 ml but uh, i really prefer i mean fragrances they have more juice in a fragrance i mean it's just con consumer point of view 100 ml bottles options would be really great um, this at this point this fragrance is very very expensive so let's try i'll put a picture of the box uh, on the thumbnail so you can see so this bottle it's really eye-catching i mean just look at that it, it may not pick it up it may look very simple but trust me this bottle is very heavy for a small bottle heavy glass base and the bottle inside is very thick so it makes it very heavy in the hand okay so two sides they have two things written here they said ortho parisi in this side if you turn it here it will say perfume 50 ml here uh, on a like a label and then it will say the name mega mare and the cap it's kind of very interesting it's, it's looking like green but it's more like a how to say like a ceramic color uh, marble or uh, tiles you know that kind of is very cool kind of a feel here i think it's very heavy cap and here it's very nice up there the pattern i thought at first it's broken inside you know <laughs> but it's that that whole thing is kind of like a flat surface okay and the juice color i think it's kind of like uh how to describe it very hard it's like marine like kind of a grayish greenish colored juice okay bottom you're gonna find the batch coat okay so this is snug fit but doesn't click onto place so i would suggest be careful and the cap it's very heavy i think it's metal yeah it's metallic cap very heavy so this fragrance it's a uh, I, I would like to spray once again just to show you my opening top note and I know the dry down already so let's show the spray. Spray is good. Okay, I just spray a little bit just for the review sake. Let it catch the whole hand. Okay. Okay. So this fragrance, I think at this point, Bangladesh is, uh, I think it was 18,000 taka something. So that is around $200 plus for 50 ml. That is not cheap. If you convert it to 100 ml, that becomes $400. Um, so it's up there with someone like Creed's, uh, one of the more expensive houses. So this has to be really, really good for it to sell, right? So let's see what you get. This fragrance is described as a aquatic, fresh, kind of like oceanic kind of fragrance. That's what I read. But this fragrance has a lot more. You know, if I explain to you, it has a lot more. Someone told me, uh, brother, I am picking very dirty sea vibe, like seaweed, uh, kind of like minerals, you know? And it's dirty you know so it's it's not gonna be really liked by everybody that's what he told me so i said okay and uh, other auto parties are a little bit cheaper than this one because it's brand new it costs a little bit more so what i really feel okay this fragrance it's really strong performance wise it's for a fresh fragrance it lasts forever it you will get easily if you have it on shirt 
eight, ten hours plus easily. Okay, it will push, it will project for two, three hours easy, and it has this ever so. I mean, like it's not choking like Amouage or something very heavy wood based, but this one has very good presence. It's like in the air, it floats around, and people definitely smell you. So definitely a very strong perfume. Uh, that is the performance. When to wear it? I think you can pull it off all year round. Even though it's a fresh fragrance, the thing about this fragrance, it has some elements, makes it very uh, strong on your skin. On your skin, it's very strong. So I think in the cold weather, uh, I mean fall especially, you can easily wear it. Look at the juice, the color of the juice. It's kind of like a gray fall day, right? So on the rainy days, you can also pull it off. It's a cold day, you can pull it off. Uh, so what I get from this in the opening, I get this kind of like a, as he said, uh, kind of like this dirty uh, C accord and what I mean by dirty doesn't mean like off-putting to some people it may be but to my nose it feels like more aquatic uh, you know ambergris sort of a feel this one the name I think is reflected from uh, let's say the whale sharks the whales not whale shark the whales in the ocean and then the whale vomit that is ambergris they are referring to and mixes with that you know like the sperm whale mixes with the sea you know sea breeze sea water kind of salty but this one doesn't have much saltiness but does have the aquatic feel you know like the sea breeze that hits you so it has that kind of marine life sort of feel and that's what it makes it kind of like challenging not everybody's gonna be wowed by it uh, if you smell it like oh this is $200 fragrance it has to blow me away sometimes it may not blow you away yeah first you might think like it's very really underwhelming it's like a very simple scent give it some time it will change um, I like it from the first sniff but what i really like is the dry down it's the magic of this fragrance it's just sweet it's very uh like uh doesn't change so much it doesn't have so much up and down like you discover here and there different things it's very uh what's that word i'm looking for uniform okay it just goes like this okay after very nice uh like a daring opening that goes to the sweeter side of things and the fragrance smells pretty much designer like on the dry down I, i'm not saying it in a bad way but i'm saying that it's more wearable that's what i'm trying to say by mean by designer it's a very wearable fragrance it, it will be good for both men and women uh, so the dry down i am getting a uh, kind of like this uh musk okay it's a very nice sort of a musky dry down with a lot of uh tonka perhaps uh, i don't know there's some sweetness coming from it and there's definite amber and someone mentioned like uh, what uh, brown amber or something like that i don't know what that is amber is a fantasy note but i definitely get kind of like prada amber sort of feel amber and i get uh, let me show you what i get small small hints of you know aqua digio if you get the seaside feel like the aquatic feel remember that then i'll tell you one thing you do not hate me for it but i'm just telling you it's there if you know uh, this fragrance pakuraban invictus has a feel has a feel of sea accord you know like a sea breeze kind of make the salty uh, touch to this fragrance makes it a tad bit uh, aquatic with the sweetness so remember the aquatic feel from this you get remember that then you get talk about the mask heavy mask heavy is alirom spore o extreme if you love this that one is not as thick as this one but definitely that mask is sweet last but not least it does remind me of bulgari aqua amara whole aqua line if you happen to like all these fragrances, this is sort of like a, uh, their interpretation of um, those notes. So very simplistic, kind of like fresh, clean. If you can go past that opening uh, 30 minutes or so, this fragrance will really grow on you. It's very simple yet sexy fragrance. That's the best part of it. It's not boring. You might think like, oh, if it smells like all those designer fragrances, why should I spend so much money on it? If you have the money, you should get it because it's really, I mean, it, it, more and more you wear it, it grows on you. So the dirty vibe, fishy vibe, some people may say that from the seaweed or something. It's the people who do not like ambergris, okay? You will not like any of the creeds, trust me. If you do not like those accords, you're not gonna like like Erolfa, Millicent Imperial, or uh, some of the, you know, ambergris heavy fragrances. So this is right up there for creed lovers. You can definitely try it. But I just feel, I'll tell you my honest take, the price is really, I mean, maybe the, you know the ingredients and everything is expensive understand but sometimes i feel some of the house by kelly and them uh, this house some of the other fragrance house nishan some of the fragrances are really expensive and it, it might some people may laugh like uh fragrances are expensive you said it a few days back yeah i understand but uh, if this was 100 ml bottle and paying 200 for it that will sound like the good deal like creeds are okay so they are subpar with creed pricing apart from that i have no other complaint with the prices i think it's really 
expensive for 50 ml bottle so those who want to get i suggest you get a discovery pack or sample pack to try it out or get a decan from someone who has that fragrance maybe you get a taste of it but it it is very uh smooth very nice relaxing soothing kind of a c accord sort of fragrance it, it is really soothing okay i would say uh on a like and you remember a gloomy day you're sitting by on the boat but the boat is by the dockyard okay and you're just like looking at those clouds far away and you, you know it's gonna rain or storm and you're like you know you're just reading a newspaper having a cup of coffee or something and then you're waiting for, you know the thing to hit you so it's kind of like calm very soothing nothing uh, uh it's not trying to do anything crazy it's very soothing and relaxing sort of fragrance i think it'll be good for uh with a gray suit office work and smells very posh and people do notice you all those good things only thing i do not like is the pricing on this apart from this fragrance i'll give it nine out of ten very beautiful fragrance really nice bottle and i like the concept if i can afford it i would buy it so that's the review for the ortho Parisi. this is called mega mare uh, it's not scary at all definitely give it a try it's very handsome smelling fragrance that's all for today and uh, you can buy this fragrance at usb bangladesh page in if you happen to be in bangladesh everybody have a nice day enjoy your eat holidays eat well stay well rest well before your hectic life starts in the city i'll see you soon bye bye